Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. The question today comes from Aaron. He's K6ICT. And his question is, can I use an aluminum flagpole as an antenna mast for a dipole or NFED half wave without problems, or will the conductive metal interfere? The answer is, I need to tell you a little more. Now, this is aluminum, and it's usually pretty well grounded at the bottom. So, you can, yes, use this as a mast for a wire antenna. Now, I did some modeling on this some time ago. If you had a dipole, and we'll just say it comes from over here, here's the feed line, and it comes up, and there's an insulator right here, okay? I did some modeling, and it turns out that the mast becomes part of the antenna when you get this end of the antenna with the high voltage on it near to this. However, I also modeled past that to see what could fix that. So then you've got your insulator on the end of the antenna right here. And what you put in here to the top of the flagpole is about three feet, three feet of rope. And then when you do that, your dipole or NFED half wave or whatever will not interact with this pole very much. Uh, it will still a little bit, but it really falls off dramatically when you get out to uh, three feet away. So this is rope. You know, the nice UV non-stretch kind. And this is ordinary wire for your antenna. Now, you can put, if you're going to just do an NFED half wave, you can string that straight across. Uh, you could put the NFED half wave, you can just take the wire up to here and put the end down here about 8 or 10 feet in the air. There's lots of different ways to mount it. But the key thing is if you want to keep the antenna pole out of the antenna and put about three feet of rope right here before the insulator. Now, if you do put it right there, then the mast will become part of the antenna and will affect the tuning. So that's why I'm suggesting that uh, you use this way of doing it. It should work very well and it's easy. So there you have it. We've taken a look at using a metal mast uh, with a dipole, and the idea is to keep the end of the dipole, the high voltage end, away from the mast uh, by at least three feet. My modeling with Easy NEC has shown that if you put about a three foot separation in there with an insulator, uh, like a piece of rope, that that will be sufficient so that very little power couples into that mast. And it will not affect your pattern and it will not affect uh, your uh, tuning. Okay, but if you get up right up next to that mast, it's very likely that it will affect the tuning. So, there you have it. Um, do me a favor, tell somebody else about this channel and see if you can bring them along. If you have not subscribed yet, please do. Please click like. Um, Please smile at everybody and do wonderful things today. And until we next meet, 73.